This is left for the two main campaigns any difficulty speedrun performed by myself. I'm a mediocre speedrunner, in fact 28th out of 79 for this category as of the 11th of July 2023, so this route should be accessible even for newer runners. Main campaigns means that we played the five campaigns the game originally came with, namely Dead Center, Dark Carnival, Swamp Fever, Heart Rain and The Parish. We can do them in any order and I will explain the reasoning for mine later on. We play on the release version 2.0.0.0, also referred to as version 2000, not the year though, because it has some extra skips and glitches. Important to note that some of the skips and glitches here don't work in later versions, so while other categories run the same campaigns, they might take a different route. Any difficulty means we can change the difficulty at any time. We use Expert to kill the bots and then play on easy because, well, it's easier. I will not cover b-hopping in this, but there will be a tutorial in the description. If you're coming from other Source Engine games, be aware that you cannot use the scroll wheel to spam jump inputs. Every b-hop needs to be timed individually. If it's too much information, you can always pause and rewatch part of the video. If any of the tricks seem too difficult, just skip them until you feel more comfortable. So let's get into it. We start on Dark Carnival because there is a glitch we can perform on its final map, but I'll explain that when we get there. The timing starts when we gain control of our character, but if you set up Life Split with the Auto Splitter, it will take care of all of that for you. The only thing you would have to do is reset the timer if you want to forfeit your attempt and start new. So we start off by just downing the bots because they're slow and we want to go fast. We do some extra damage because we want them to be bled out entirely by the time we get to the safe room. This will be the case for every map. We either want them dead by the time we get to the safe room or to some other event that requires all players to be either alive or dead and not incapacitated. For the first map of Dark Carnival, we're mostly just looking to hit good b-hop so we can go fast. And ideally we can also find Adrenaline, a Boomer Bile and a Sharp Melee weapon in case there's an annoying smoker. Here we got pretty lucky. We got an Adrenaline and a Katana right, on, right along the way. You can also find a bile there, or you can get none of them. It's just down to luck. We'll just be continuing to do some hops. And then, once we turn the next corner here to the left, there's a fence ahead of us. If we have enough speed as we turn the corner and we continue our hops, we can jump over the fence. called fence skip. I don't have that speed, so I take the backup route by just going through here. For the fence skip on highway, you basically just need enough speed. You just need to hit enough b-hops to make it over the fence like this. Note that if you do hit more b-hops and thus gain more speed, you might have to take a slightly different route. So as we come up on this corner here, we actually go out to the left over the railing, because otherwise we can't turn the corner properly. Also, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a nun outfit, you'll just have to stop by my stream someday to find out. Here we're coming up on a slope that we can surf on. You see, I want to grab the uh, Uma Bile though, but we surf down here and then we hit a bunny hop right at the bottom to keep our speed. Ideally, you'll obviously hit every bunny hop and keep all the speed. But however many you hit, any number is good if you get them. And then it's just getting up the hill and getting to the safe room and praying you don't get a tank like I did. If you get a tank, just try to play around it. If it gets you, well, just reset. It was the first map of the run anyway, probably, if you start on Dark Carnival. You'll want to vote to Expert as you enter the safe room, before you close the door and the loading starts. Because if you do it after the next map is loaded, you have to wait a few seconds before you can attack the bots. If you do the voting before, you can just immediately start attacking them, and then vote back to easy. Here you just want to hit some hops, and depending on how comfortable you are, there is a guaranteed auto shotgun as well as a sharp melee in this safe house, in this warehouse. So on the table to the left here in front of us is the auto shotgun, and then to the right on the shelf you see there's always a fire axe. You can grab them, it might lose you a second or two, but if you're a newer runner it's probably worth it. There's also a skip here called propane skip that you can do. I'm not gonna do it on this run, but here's what it would look like. As you come out of this warehouse, there's always gonna be a propane to the left. Alternatively, there's one right ahead of us. So you wanna go around here and then drop the propane at the top of this tent thingy. Don't drop it directly at the at the edge, but also don't drop it too far back. 
And then you want to get a common climbing up onto the tent, or ideally onto the propane, because that increases your odds of making it up. And then you want to do a common jump. You just have to see that you don't bump your head here. But the top here, if, if you can hit enough bunny hops, you can just make it directly onto this tent back here. Otherwise, if you don't hit enough bunny hops, you can just drop down here. So from here on out, it's mostly just walking, and then there's one more skip you can do that I will be doing on this run, but I would advise against it. So for the most part, you'll just want to play this level normally. Also, quick note about the weapon. We usually take the shotgun because we don't really have much time to aim, so we can just sort of blindly fire it. And if you have a tier 1 shotgun, if you right-click right after shooting, it allows you to shoot a little faster because you cancel the animation. So if you get a tank spawn close enough here, which I did, to the left in there. You can bait the tank in a very specific spot, stand on the railing, and if you jump at the exact right time, it will punch you onto an invisible wall right here. And you save waiting for the merry-go-round and having to go around it and all. But as I said, this skip is fairly and difficult and requires a good tank spawn, so I would generally not advise newer players to attempt this. Explain? Up next is Coaster. For the tunnel section of Coaster, there's not really much going on. I mean, we just hope that we don't get a tank here, because it's very annoying to play around in this narrow corridor. But other than that, you just want to go through. Not really any item spawns we usually check, unless we get very desperate. I mean, obviously, better hops. Yeah, there's always more time there, but I mean. Specifically Here's one man. small skip you might not be aware of. You don't have to go up the stairs. You can just jump on the base of this generator, jump on the pipe, jump on the top of the generator, and then jump over here. Saves you having to go around. But it's not a huge time save anyway, so it's not that important. Tank out of the way now. We can just chill. Until we get... So once you get here, you can breathe easy, because... You're finally outside and there's more room to evade things. You can check the truck to the right for adrenaline if you don't have it. We're coming up on coaster skip. The way I'm doing it only works in the older versions. But um, you want to walk up these beams as you see. You basically just want to copy what I'm doing and scale the coaster. This really saves you from having to actually upset. activate the ride which takes time and also I alerts the, the, the commons. So this makes it faster and easier. And you just want to drop down on this beam and here if you want to if you don't want to do the second part you can just go around the normal way but if you're doing coaster skip you might as well go all in there will also be the link to a video by waifu that explains how to do coaster skip in more detail and also for the later versions On barns, we'll have our first instance of pathway RNG. There is a gate that can spawn in your way. If you get it, you just have to either go around, which is slow, or you have to do a common jump over it, which is also a little slower, but not that bad. As you see here, I got lucky. I didn't have the gate, but this is what it would look like. If you get the bad RNG on barns, you'll get the gate here. If you get that, you just want to make your way to this tree and walk close to it because it is slightly higher on the left side here closer to the tree and then you want to jump onto the commons that run at you and just mash spacebar to jump off their head as soon as possible i'm going to show it one more time get close to the tree as you see you're a little higher from here push them away if they're hitting you or if they're not in the right spot and then jump on their head and just spam your jump button to get up there do note that you cannot use scrolly to spam inputs in this game. Here you also want to check there could be adrenaline in the middle of the of this room. And then you just want to make a run for the barns. But you don't want to go into the barns. 
Note that there is also a skip called Charger Skip that skips the entire area that we're about to head into, but it is absolutely not advisable for any newer or even medium tier runners. So here we're doing the generator light skip where we just scale that generator as you saw. And then up here there's a tank so I just walk back to make it path away so I can just get around safely. And then we have to start the event. And right after you start the event, you want to get up the scaffolding and try to perform a common jump to get up to the top. I got the tank here, so I had to deal with that first. But ideally, if you don't get the tank, just climb up the scaffolding right away. You'll see that in a moment, I just have to mess around with the tank a little bit. now you can get up here it can also be throwables here or an extra med kit if you didn't yes. pick one up and then up here you're in a god spot but first of all what is a common jump a common jump is performed by jumping on the head of a common infected as it is trying to climb something so for example you could get onto these trash bags here and then when a common infected is running at you you want to jump so it doesn't hit you immediately the common infected will then get onto these trash bags to get to you and as you land on the common infected's head while it's trying to climb onto these trash bags, you want to mash your jump button so you jump as soon as you land and then you will get the extra height. So we're going to spawn some common infected here and as they run at us, then we jump and just, as you see, mash our space bar. Do this one more time. Common infected, they run at us. Oh, this guy's just trolling and going to the other side. Sometimes they don't want to climb immediately, so you might not get it on the very first try, but this is how a common jump works. I thought he was climbing to the top floor. I, I just, I got so, so this is a god spot. The commons can't path to you, so they'll just stand in place. My heart rate we now throw the bile here, so the commons will still want to go there, but they can't. So effectively they just stay in place. And then we use the adrenaline and make a run for the safe room. If you don't have the bile, you'll just have to run through and hope you don't get swamped by commons. You can also throw a molotov in the way to hope you burn the commons before they get in your way, but bile is ideal. For concert, we want to down the bots in very specific positions, because bots inside a certain area will actually get kicked if they're downed. So this is the concert safe room. Everything in this yellow box will get kicked when you start the concert. This yellow box extends all the way to this door here. So anybody that is downed and still here will just get kicked from the server. So what you want to do is ideally have two bots down in this trigger zone so they get kicked and then one bot down here because that way you start the finale you just need to shoot each bot once or twice to down it and then you can move on. If all three bots spawn in the box here like within this trigger what you want to do instead is down all three and kill one of them. Because if the bot is dead, not downed, dead, it will not get kicked. Workable. So here we want to get one of the bots dead, because they didn't spawn in the right place. Like you can either down the bot in the specific area, or you can just kill one of them and leave the other two downed. And then we just want to go and start the concert. And anything that is within this area here will just get kicked when the concert starts. Since Alice is dead, he's not in that area, so he's safe and he's staying with us. But the other two are getting kicked. And we want to keep Alice because for a few tricks we need one bot. So now as we start the concert you see oh, uh, Nick and Rochelle are just gone. Then we're heading for another god spot which is on this railing. A god spot on the finale just means that the commons will despawn a lot faster which will progress the finale just way faster. Do note though that while commons cannot path to you in a god spot, special infected still can and you might also get an occasional tank here that gets to you. There's a few places a tank can spawn here on the finale, only one of them he will actually path to you. All the other ones he'll just despawn before he can do anything to you. So basically just don't get super unlucky and you're fine. And then if you're not comfortable with this, you just stay here for the rest of the finale. Unless there's a tank that forces you out of the spot. Then you want to kill the tank and get back into the god spot. And if you're comfortable with it, we're going to go to a different spot after this tank. So we hear the tank music now. 
I wait for a specific part in the song. And then I get going. I already have a Molotov. If I wouldn't, I, I'd try to pick up one now. And then get fireworks. And you want to throw the fireworks into the corridor at the top. So I unfortunately had some specials mess with me, so I couldn't do that. But you want to throw the fireworks in there. And then you wait for the music to start again. And then just shoot the fireworks. I had to shoot them here because I was too afraid of the charger. And this also means I didn't get to the god spot, which is on this railing, in time. So you see all of the comments trying to get here. You definitely want to kill the comments though if they spawn, because it's faster than just waiting for the required number to despawn. And then you can throw your Molotov into the corridor on the left. You throw it at just the right angle. To just burn the commons. As I said there, I should have thrown a little earlier, but just you generally just want to kill as many commons as quickly as possible. And burning them is a little faster than having to wait for them to despawn. We're just waiting for the final tank to spawn now, which is where the fireworks get set off and everything. And once that tank is gone, we're going to go to the so uh, to the so-called coin toss spot, and then we have to listen very carefully or look, depending on what you prefer, from which side the helicopter enters the finale. If it's on the side that we are on, uh, we don't get coin toss. If it's on the other side, we have to. So we have to make sure that we stand far enough out. So I use the lineup that my crosshair is over the part of that door. And then we didn't get coin toss. The helicopter came from behind, so it lands on the other side. If we get coin toss, either as soon as we hear the helicopter or as soon as we see it, no, we have to vote rich. to the next and campaign you, because it will out. end almost immediately after. <laughs> but if you don't get coin toss or if you don't want to do coin toss because it seems too difficult, you just wait for the helicopter to arrive. <laughs> do note, the helicopter has to be full, fully standing still, otherwise you'll just fall through it because it doesn't have collision. And if you initiated the vote before, you might just invalidate your run. For Carantos, you want to get into the coin toss spot. So as I said, roughly in the middle of these two railings, it's not super precise. Look straight down, and then I use this as a lineup. My crosshair needs to be over the top of this door, over this part here. And then you want to look at this wall, or at the structures, somewhere in this rough area. It's not super precise. It's just so that your, uh, if the helicopter enters on the right, you'll mostly hear it on your right side and on the left, left side, obviously. That just makes it easier to tell if you got coin toss or not. You can also look over here and you'll see the helicopter flying in. The timing is a lot tighter, though, for this one. However, the good thing is you can do both. You can look here, listen for the helicopter, and if you're not sure if it's left or right, you can still flick over Turn here and just look at the building, wait for the helicopter to fly in, and as soon as you see it, you got a vote. I'm going to use a command to just spawn Ready it in, everyone. and then you'll see what it would look like if you get coin toss. As you saw, the timing is quite precise. So maybe give this some practicing. Hello, first time. Yes, I can see that. So now we're onto the parish. It's usually the second map in in the speed run because of its difficulty. I'm not sure my heart is okay with that. You just start out by once again downing your bot, since we now only have one to deal with. And then we have to do a common jump over a wall here. Still gotta check if that's P PB for carnival though. So you wanna stand on this electric box in the in the corner? as far back into the right as possible and then if the comments start running at you you want to go back and jump and then try to do a common jump off their head and then hope you get pushed up what the hell man also advisable if the comments climb up on the right side to kill them because otherwise they'll drop on your head and block you i'm running out of comments please so here i got it on the last one if you don't get it there's a backup which will look like this Okay. Ideally, you forego the common jump and instead go for a crouch b hop by jumping onto this wall here and then onto the balcony and then you do a strafe to the left, land a crouch beam on the railing and continue a strafe to the left to land on this fence. The fence does actually extend quite a bit further out than you might think, so it's not as bad as you might think. I would definitely recommend learning this. And if you fail the jump in a run, just go for the normal route. Okay, we're good. Uh, I'm not good. 
I'm actually quite bad at the game. And if you don't get the backup, you can just go the normal route. Clearly we're bad. That's a first. So here you want to drop on the balcony so you don't take fall damage, and then get into the safe room, vote to expert, and then check what you see on the shelves. I saw two adrenals on the right and a pipe bomb to the left, which is basically all you can ask for. You'll want a pipe bomb for an upcoming trick, and adrenaline is always good. One adrenaline is is fine, two is great, but even, even none is still okay. It's not absolutely necessary here. It's just a nice bonus. So we use the adrenaline and then just have another one. If you only have one, you can still use it right away because there's enough potential spawns. If you see a bile along the way, you probably want to grab it because it will make an upcoming trick easier. The pipe bomb will work, but you have less time. Also be aware if you encounter a witch here, it can be very rarely a riot witch, which is like the riot police doesn't take damage from the front, but there's no visual cue. So I'm, I'm a little stressed. So you could get adrenaline or bile here in front of you at the tent thingy and then to the left there could be a bile. You could also get a auto shotgun to the left on the stairs and then another bile here to the left. Just keep your eyes open for the spawns. You'll probably learn them over time. And there's almost always adrenaline in here. If you don't get adrenaline you just got very unlucky. But that's not the end of the world. And then, as soon as you open the door, the panic event starts. You just want to get here, uh, get through here as fast as possible. On the table, there can be an auto shotgun and a sharp melee, which you might want to grab. So here, you just want to do a crouch b hop on the stone foot part uh, of the fence. Get onto the pile cabinet and then common jump over the fence. And then you'll either throw the pipe bomb or the bile in front of the porta potty, and then jump on the commons to get over it. A bile will make it easier because the commons will be attracted there for longer. The pipe bomb will blow up and get rid of them obviously at some point. You can also do it without any of those. It's just much more difficult and random. So that's why you want to try to keep a pipe bomb or ideally a bile on you. Watch any speedruns for this game. What is a good time? I don't know. At the start of Cemetery, right as you go out of the safe room, straight ahead of you can be an adrenaline spawn. Just make sure to check that, because if you get it, you might as well use your current adrenaline if you have one, which you probably should, unless you're really unlucky, and then use it. It can also be on the trash next to me there. Just keep your eyes open for adrenaline. Not really sure on the individual splits. We're coming up on the small skip. You can get over the van here. There's three different ways. A few I, I will unfortunately fail this skip most, and then just go around, sure. mostly because there's a tank. Please but there's please. three ways to get over it. This, you can do oh a b-hop, a crouch b-hop. For the cemetery van, I would always recommend to try going for the crouch b-hop first. So you run at the back of the van and jump up and then you want to crouch before you land and then you want to land roughly somewhere around here, it's not super precise. Hit the b-hop and then drave to the right to slide up the top part of the van. If you can do a common jump, if there are commons around you and they're nearby and they're likely gonna hit you as you try to do the strafe jump, you can just go for the common jump instead. Or you can do a strafe jump. So for the strafe jump, you want to aim a little bit to the left of this vertical line on the bus window. Run forward for just a little bit to gain some speed. Jump and then do a very small strafe to the left. At crouch at the end and you sh if you do it right, you will find yourself at the top of the van. It will need some practice though. I should have just been better at the game. But I mean, overall, Here on the right on the table there's always a machete and on the shelves or on the table you can also sometimes find adrenaline. I unfortunately picked up the pills and only realized later and adrenaline is so important here that I will go back even though there's a tank and a smoke and just a bunch of everything and chaos. You really want the adrenaline for the upcoming section. But for now you just want to continue the normal path, go through the house. And if you still don't have adrenaline somehow, keep your eyes open. So here we'll want to jump up to the fence and then 
Stan, roughly aligned with the center of this plant and then do a common jump as they climb up here to get over the fence so we don't have to go around. And then we want to use the adrenaline as we drop down to the sewers because water will slow us down. And this corridor is so narrow that if there's a charger here, there's very little chance you'll avoid. Like, you'll be able to avoid him. And then for this, for the car lot, you obviously just don't want to jump onto the cars with alarms and you just want to pray that you don't get a tank that just trolls you. Also note that I'm doing the fast climb on the ladder. If you're not familiar with that, sure you can't get the I'll have something linked in the description that explains it. So here's the cemetery. This has more. This has the first, the second instance of pathway RNG in this run. So I got the best RNG, which is the third path here to the right, which leads almost directly to the end from here. If you get the other ones, there's nothing you can do. You'll just take a small time loss and hope you get better luck next time. And then check out for items and just head for the end. Guess we might as well take that. Oh, indeed. What? Who did I? I, d well, I guess the tank and then also the adrenaline. Wow. I didn't think I'd lose that much time. Where the Water starts out with a common jump over the fence. Because I had best RNG. So for this one, you'll want to jump onto the pot here, onto the plant pot, and then just get on commons as they walk over there so you get over the fence. And then there's another skip you can do, which is jump from the car onto the tree and then onto a small ledge and do two common jumps in total. I don't do it here, but this is what it would look like. The most important part about the tree jump is knowing that you can stand here. I'm not actually standing on the top of this gate. As you see, if I try to move forward, I can't. There's a ladder for special infected on this gate. You can't use it as a survivor, but you can stand on the top of it. So what you want to do to do the tree jump is jump from the car into this cage around the tree and then you want to do a common jump onto the tree. From the tree you can jump onto the aforementioned ladder. And once you're on the ladder you're gonna need another common jump to get over the invisible wall on the top of this gate. So you will need to get the commons climbing towards you and then jump on their head and hopefully you could just get over this wall. It might not work with every common jump. Like some of them might not give you enough height. In this case, you'll just need to keep trying. Okay, uh, keep eyes out for it, Ren. When you playing solo, does it? The upside of going this way, way is, um, aside from being easier, you can also find stuff on yes. the pool tables here. Okay, hold on. Do note that if you're roughly as fast as I am, you will encounter the special infected as you drop down here. So there's a risk that you drop down into just absolute chaos. Like you drop down, there's a boomer waiting for you, and then there's a hunter around the corner, and a, and a jockey will follow as soon as you kill the boomer. Just be aware. You can jump on the railing here, so you don't have to go all the way around. Saves a few fractures of a second, but might as well do it. Here we're coming up on the first instance of infinite stumble. So we take the propane, and then we shoot it, so we stumble backwards, and we swap between our shotgun and the machete. And then which will, in this version, just like reset the stumble animation. So and once you've been stumbling for a certain time, you will just float. And then you keep swapping weapons to reset the stumble, and then you can just float over the gap. There's also backups, which I'll show here. A crouch b-hop. And a common jump. So if you don't trust your bunny hopping skills, you don't have a pipe bomb, and you maybe shot the propane, or you simply didn't get any, don't worry, you can just get onto this pile of bricks and then do a common jump. Hello? Might not always work immediately, but there you go. Here we're coming up on another common jump. You just stand on the right side of the trash and then get the common to boop you over the fence. And then, yeah, if you... Also note that for the previous skip, for the stumble skip, you can use a pipe bomb to stumble you over the gap. It doesn't have to be a propane. If you're not comfortable with the backup methods and you don't have the propane there, if you found a pipe bomb earlier, you can use that. 
would be relevant here right now. Um, we play in. It's not an option in the later version anymore, but the old the old version has a single player and a play campaign option from the menu. And we choose play single player because it makes some things easier. So for bridge, we want to get rid of a bot again and then again. start the event as, as soon as possible. It will take a few seconds for the bridge to lower, so we have time now to stock up. So I grab a new shotgun to just have more ammo, and I got lucky and have two adrenalines here. So this means I can use one adrenaline at the start and then pick up the second one. I wait for an audio cue. Use the adrenaline, grab the new one, and then just get going. If you go too fast, there'll be still a wall that blocks you. So you'll just have to practice a little bit to get the timing down. And then here, whether you want to throw a pine bomb or not, that is entirely up to you. I prefer it because I tend to get swamped, but some people don't like it because you might get swamped later on. This is incredibly. I like to keep my adrenaline for the ramp part of the bridge because we can't really be hop up hills so we can get our increased speed from walking there but if you tend to get swamped early on you might want to use the adrenaline so you don't get the slowdown from commons if you're lucky you can get adrenaline here at the top where i got two pills instead obviously want to grab that if you're really uncomfortable with this you can also check all the trucks they can have some extra adrenalines that might make it a little safer and more comfortable for you. But if you want to go fast, you will probably forego those. I got lucky here. This is exactly in my way, so I might as well grab it. The tank here is guaranteed, in case you didn't know. So if you feel like you always got unlucky, nope, that's just how the game is. You can jump on the side of that bus. You can also jump on the yellow gate at the end. You don't have to use the ladder at the back of the I truck it gonna it's just going to come down to where the tank is what you want to do and then there's one final <laughs> mini skip ahead of us Wasn't ready for that. we can jump on the fence and then drop to a fence on the lower floor here to just save going around As you see here if we drop onto this fence we won't take fall damage and then we can just head for the heli Remember to vote before the fade out happens because afterwards you'll be put back to the main menu if you don't have a vote set. And if you go back to the main menu and then you start the next campaign from there, you'll have four bo uh, three bots with you again. So practice your vote timing is a decent time save not having the bots with you. Stop next is Swamp Fever for me, because this is just how I like to do it, because I don't do very well with the water and some of the skips. Obviously, we want to get rid of our bot again. There's propane at the start of this map. It's always in one of three spots. It's either here next to the gas station, or it can be to the right here, at the uh, outside the house. Or if you get... The best RNG, which I did here, it'll be in front of this house. You want to grab the propane and just run for the river with the ferry. Here's the other two spawns that you can see during the opening cutscene. You have this one, for which you would need to somewhat go out of your way, because you want to go around here. And then, where we have this gas can, you can also get a propane instead. Just keep your eyes open during the opening cutscene, and if you don't get it, you can just restart the campaign until you get it in one of the favorable spawns. Also, do note that you want to try to keep a pistol throughout this campaign if possible. It will allow a trick in the final map of this campaign. So here I'm dropping the propane in a very specific spot. I call the ferry and then I shoot the propane and do the infinite stumble over the river. I have to... Call the ferry first, even though I don't use it, because otherwise there's an invisible wall at the other side of the river, so you just can't get over. You have to be careful, if you go too far to the left, you'll bump into the fence, and then you'll just fall into the water and die. If you go too far to the right, you'll be stuck on the ferry, and you'll also fall into the water and die. So, I'd recommend practicing this stumble skip a few times. Alternatively, if you shot the propane, or just don't want to do the stumble because you don't feel confident in it or anything like that, you can go into this god spot. You don't need to shoot the shopping cart, by the way. Game on, baby. But you might find it easier to go from there. 
So as you see, we just stand next to the stock and then none of the comments will get to us. Remember that in a god spot, special infected will still attack you. So watch out for smokers and others. And now you just wait for the ferry to come across, get on and then just continue as normal. Once you're on the other side, you're entirely safe though. The game doesn't expect you to be here yet, so there's just no specials, no comments, nothing. So you can just run to the end. If you're lucky you'll find something useful on the table here. But other than that, just want to go. If you come, come along something useful, you might want to grab it. There's always a melee here. Remember, we probably want to keep the pistol. You'll, you'll see once we get to the finale, but that is up to you to decide whether you feel comfortable with that strat. Note that if you're fast enough, you won't be able to vote here. Because the ferry has to be on the other side before you're allowed to change difficulty again. So if you're very fast, you either have to vote after the loading screen, which loses you a little bit of time, or you vote before you even start the ferry, which is a little riskier, because you're still an expert while there's comments around you. Here you can either go through the water straight ahead if you have faith in your bunny hops, I would advise going to the right because <clears throat> getting hit by a comet in the water makes you just slow down to a crawl. This boat can have adrenaline and also a throwable, Amazing. just down to luck. There's two possible spawns here for the hanging soldier. He can be on the right as he is here or on the left. If he's on the left, he will always have adrenaline. And here you can see we have the soldier on the left. We can already see the parachute. So what we want to do is go to the soldier on the left and then you can just look up and press E at the right time. Or you can just stop for a moment and make sure you're lined up, but with a little bit of frax you don't have to stop. You want to grab the adrenaline, take it out already in case there's more adrenaline here, and then you just check. And nope, there's no adrenaline. Here we want to check if there's a tier 2 shotgun, like an auto shotgun, adrenaline, or a bile. If you're lucky you will even get all of those. And then you'll just want to head to the plane and check. There can be more adrenaline along the way, and if there is, you probably want to use it, like I do right here. Didn't want the melee, so I switched back to the pistol. If I have adrenaline, I can just jump onto this rock, and then jump on the plane, which I fail once, but then you can just get over here. You can do this trick without adrenaline, but it requires a relatively precise crouch b-hop. So, if you don't have adrenaline, you probably don't want to do that. And you just want to go the normal way. If you don't have enough adrenaline, you can do this back up from here. You want to run forwards, do a crouch b hop on this rock, and then continue the strafe to the left. The timing is relatively precise, so you definitely want to practice this one, though. But if you don't have adrenaline, what you can do is just go for one attempt, and if you fail, well, you can just go and choose the normal route. From up here, you can either go down to the left, or you can also jump on here. Which means you can walk on the plane for longer, thus you'll be in water for less time. And then if you get extra adrenaline, you can just use yours. It's always good to have the extra speed in case you get hit or miss a b-hop. You want to make sure though that you have an adrenaline for this upcoming section though. So if you use the adrenaline for plane skip, and then you don't find one afterwards, you might be screwed here. So you can find an adrenaline here, where there's pills and the pipe bomb this time. And then, this is another long water section, you want to use the adrenaline here. And check the table for throwables or adrenaline. No need to grab the auto shotgun, as there will be one in the safe room, which we're about to get into. The first house on the next map that we pass through has three possible adrenaline spawns. One to the left on the nightstand next to the bed, one to the right on the table, and one to the right on the shelf. You will see that I don't get any of them, but you'll see other items in their place. So those are just the spots you want to check. And then you can shoot this propane, as I will do here, to just get rid of some of the props in the way. I guess. But you can also just jump over them. And then here you can jump from the barrel onto the roof. 
so you don't have to go all the way around. Do note though that the barrel will deal a little bit of damage, so if you don't feel too comfortable with this jump, there is a backup you can do going around to the right. Jumping over the boarded up window. It will look something like this. For the backup, you will just want to continue around here. You can jump onto this, jump on here, get on this part of the wooden railing, and then you can jump onto this board on the window, and then you can get on here. Do note, though, that it's slightly lower on the right side than on the left. So that's why you want to jump on this side and then go around. Oh, actually at the roof of the so here I don't have adrenaline, so I have to take a slightly different route and I go to the left. Thank you. If you have adrenaline, you can head to the right and through the water, but you get adrenaline here. No, I don't have it, so right. I have else. to take the path where there's less water. you want to activate the bridge so you can progress but you don't need to wait for it to lower i unfortunately throw my wallet off a little bit too far so i don't burn the commons you know since we're playing on easy difficulty it might very often be worth it to just molotov yourself you'll take a little bit of damage but you'll also clear all the commons around you which might just slow you down way more overall and then here is just absolute chaos as i did not have enough health to be fast but i got lucky with the adrenaline but there's just so many comments now because I was hi, so hi, slow. Hi, they hi, all caught up. Hi, 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 hi. Yes, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes, hello, hello, hello. And then of course uh, we also have the tank here, which is later. just That's for in great luck. Actually. You just hope you don't get that. But thank you for your interest. If thank you have the adrenaline, that. this is what it will look like instead. What you want to do is go here to the right, oh. and then even if you don't hit any b-hops. You can just run through the water here because of the adrenaline effect. You can jump over here, hit this as you go past, and then we jump on the rock just like we would without adrenaline. No shotgun. No shotgun. No shotgun. So here you want to make sure you don't use a shotgun to kill the bot. This is why we kept the pistol. You want to down the bot, but you don't want to deal any extra damage. So you want to have your bot with as much health as it's downed as possible. And then you can jump on this fence. It's a little finicky. The clipping is a little weird. You might want to practice it a little bit. You can also just go around the normal way, but it's a little slower. And we are on a timer here. And I don't mean the speedrun timer. We have to reach a certain spot before Alice bleeds out completely. Street, so it idiot. might just be worth it to spend some extra time out. practicing to jump on the fence. If you're roughly as fast as I am, this is where you'll encounter the special infected first on the map. So you'll see here there's a boom on the left and then a hunt on the right. There could also be a jockey or a smoke at the top here, in the, at the top floor. Just keep an eye out for that. In the plantation house, grab a bile and then just head for the radio. Okay. Just have the door open, right? I'm just gonna. You want to interact with the radio? Wait about two seconds, and then throw it outside the map, and then start the finale. The timing isn't super precise. Not that important. But if you throw it out there, the commons won't get to you, so you'll just have a much easier time getting here quickly. So you want to crouch under the stairs. And then repeatedly crouch as you walk forward into this angled part of the stairs, oh, which will get you stuck. You can just test. You, if, you get, if you get it, you just won't be able to move. And then after 10 seconds, the game will teleport you to the nearest player, which just so happens to be our down bot. Hi, Alice. If Alice is, or whichever bot you have, if your bot is already dead, you will just die instead if you're stuck. Do note, though, if you do get... Stuck and your bot is about to bleed out. You can pause the game by hitting escape and then wait 10 seconds And then unpause Because while the bot won't bleed out any further the timer for teleporting you when you're stuck does continue to run when the menu is open So now with this trick the entire area outside of the finale became a god spot Which is why there's just nobody here So we can just take our sweet time check all the houses and See if we can find something good. 
Ideally, I, I'm looking here for a Molotov and Adrenaline. I only got the Molotov, but that's okay. If you find yourself in a situation where you either know that you can't get to the stuck spot and get warped in time, or you simply can't perform the stuck, stuck spot, what you can do instead is go up here and drop on the top of this hedge. This is also a god spot. Do note though that tanks and special effects can spawn on top of the roof and just fall down onto you. So you'll have to play, pay very close attention to the sound. And if there's a tank, you'll have to get out of the spot and deal with it, most likely. I mean, pipe could technically so now I'm just running back up to the finale. And then I will wait for it to play out. So for all the commons to despawn and then for the tanks to die. And then I'll wait for a specific sound cue on the last tank. So I know that I can go. So I just wait here. If you go too, on the home stretch. if you go too close Did to the house, you can get commons spawn on top of the roof, which might make the finale a little slower. Nah, so if you stand here, you just Molly. block it by being able to see the spot. These commons understand. don't spawn if there's line of sight to a spot. So now it's just a bunch of waiting until the last tank spawns. Ah, this is feeling like an eternity. Please? I don't run this game often enough. This just feels like it's taking forever. And there was my sound cue. So now I'll go up the ladder. Check, there could be a smoker waiting right here. He tends to do that, and then I just like to throw a molly here in case there's a jockey right around the corner that jumps on you immediately. Had that happen once or twice. And then you can also use your adrenaline to just get to the boat faster, but just want to go here. You can destroy these fences and so you don't have to go around, and then either you have adrenaline or you just hopefully hit some up so you, did, so you don't get the water slow down. And then vote, jump on the boat, and on to the next campaign. In my case, this is hot rain, because once again, I don't like water. Okay. For this one, well, we have... you can Wonder start shooting your bot, and only... but you want to run towards the pistol, grab a second pistol, and then shoot shoot at the bot. I unfortunately didn't grab the pistol here, and when it when the bot is down, its hitbox for being picked up is a lot bigger, so fortunately that didn't quite work out. But ideally, you want to grab a pistol, down the bot. If... If you run out of ammo, pick up a melee weapon and switch back to the pistols again. It's faster than reloading. Don't need to kill the bot entirely because we still have to run the map, but you want to get it low enough that it'll bleed out by the end. Then you just can grab supplies from the burger tank. And then it's just hitting B hops and going. That's weird. Like I was snapped to something. Very confusing. We're coming up on the ambulance. You want to check what it has in the back. So you will see here it has a defibrillator and adrenaline. It can have adrenaline, it can even have two adrenalines. That's all we care about. It can have medkits, defibs. I'm not sure about pills, but we don't care about any of those. So it has adrenaline. I'm, I remember that, but I do not take it. I don't know why. I thought because when we go back, it is actually the same map just with water. So once we go back, we can just get the adrenaline there and then negate the water slowdown. These hops are just getting worse. So that's why you just want to leave the adrenaline there. How did you, you have two adrenaline, that's you can take one and then you make use of it or hold on to it for other parts of the campaign, wherever you feel like you need it most. And then when you get into the safe room, you want to check. I didn't check, unfortunately. I saw the bile and wanted to grab it. You can look around before the fate happens, see how many adrenalines there are. If there's more than two, you can take one. If there's more than one and you have adrenaline in the ambulance, you can also take one. Otherwise, you want to leave them for the way back. Unfortunately, I had no adrenaline here, so that's just very unlucky. But 
But for this campaign, you just want to make sure you use your adrenaline at the most optimal places. So wherever there's water in most cases. You can also check the table where there's some pipe bombs here. You can get adrenaline there. If you get a tank here, there's two ways you can deal with it. So either you can get onto this, jump on the top of this, jump onto here, and then just continue the way as you would otherwise. Alternatively, you can either head for this ladder, which is slightly faster, but I prefer to go for this one. Because from here, you can get onto the railing and then get on the silo and just basically go the normal route backwards. If you go for the first ladder, you'll be on, on the pipe in the front here, so you'll just have to drop down here. You can check check the shack on the right if it has Hi. adrenaline or anything else. It doesn't here, and then you want to jump from the rubble onto the wall. Jump on the top of the wall, and you can go over the pipe. Saves you from having to go around. I feel like that's easier to check from here. I got jockeyed here, unfortunately, because I did not pay enough attention. If you get grabbed by anything, since there's no bot to save you. What you want to do is immediately vote to expert, so you die as fast as possible. And then just down your bot and replay the map. And hope you get better luck this time around. There's very rare occasions where you might have thrown a molly. And then a jockey grabs you. But then it'll burn because of the molly and then you can still continue. So just because you get grabbed, it doesn't mean everything is lost. But generally speaking... If a special effect that grabs you, you're probably screwed. No, no, bad, stop. Yeah, I'm checking again. Shaq doesn't have any adrenaline, unfortunately. I was crouched under the wall. I didn't even know that's a thing. Hi, hello. You can also go straight to the right here on, on the sugar mill. I just prefer this route. The jump on the right is a little more difficult. So here I'm checking. There could be a propane to the left. It could be a propane here to the right or right here as I jump over. There could be a propane next to the spools or whatever these are called. There's a propane to the left. There can also be a propane in front of the building here, below the pipe, uh, below the walkway. You just want to have a propane here for an upcoming skip if you feel comfortable doing it. This is mine. You can't have it. No, no, so you need no, the propane, no, no. you'll drop it down, no. if you want to go for the safe way, which is what I do. And then and then walk off and shoot it before you hit the ground. The propane will cause you to stumble, which will reset your falling velocity, there? but you actually That'll can't stumble in mid-air. So you'll just continue falling, but your falling velocity is reset, so you don't die from fall damage. There's some backup strats and some other ways to do this. I'll have a link in the video description on how to do them. In the safe room, we want to check once again, do we have adrenaline? Because we're not going to come back here. I see adrenaline there. We definitely want to take that. If there's two, use one and get the other one. Because the hitbox is just fucked. So there's nothing really interesting happening before the elevator here. We're just running back, managing the comments. So where do we use it? I guess for the... You want to walk on the pipe here because it's not water, so it'll be a little faster than walking in water. Oh my god, I'm not running on the pipe. The you can not see, I, as you can see there, there was adrenaline in the shack, so if you don't have any adrenaline, you might want to stop and actually grab that. Just as a safety net. You don't need adrenaline for this, but it makes the campaign a lot easier in many places. Adrenaline for the home stretch. Uh, ambulance for the home stretch. Yeah, I should probably keep it in case there's a troll tank. So yeah, we're just continuing the path back. There's nothing really special here. You can jump to the left onto this house and then jump onto the ladder so you don't have to get into the water. You want to stay on top of the silos, obviously, because there's no water here to slow you down. You can jump onto that small corner there. I barely missed the jump, but it's very insignificant anyways and then you just want to stay on the high ground because we don't like water
And then you try to remember when you check the shack, did it have adrenaline? If so, and you don't have any, you can grab it. But we're just going to walk up these pipes here, and then you can jump on the right side of the railing and actually walk along here. If you don't feel comfortable with that, just go on the left side, like go the normal way over that walkway, but it's not much of a difference anyway. If you have spare adrenaline in the safe room, you can use yours here. I don't, so I'm just going to try to hit some b-hops and make it to the safe room. Damn it! And by spare adrenaline, I mean that you have not just one here, but actually two. Okay, well, adrenaline here and then ambulance. If you have an extra adrenaline in this, you can use it at the start. And then, as I do it here, go through the water. This is slightly faster. Then we get all the if you don't have adrenaline, there's a backup route that I will show in a moment. This is the adrenaline route, and this would be without. You can just walk over here to avoid water, go up the ladder, and then just stay on these roofs. Remember, the roofs are slopes, so you can b hop to gain some extra speed. And then I just like to drop onto this fence, try to b hop. I missed it there. And then here, it's just the normal path. On the way? Come on. And we just want to get over the car on the fence, because once again, we don't like being in water. And then remember what was in the ambulance. In my case, I know there was adrenaline. So I want to jump onto this, this railing here, and then ideally onto the ambulance. So you're not in the water at all, and then walk over it. Get the adrenaline, immediately use it. Where? In front? And then just make a run. Oh my god! Oh my! That was a very weird Look charger spawn there that threw places. me off. I've but yeah, you definitely want adrenaline for this last part because it's a pretty long walk. The adrenaline will run out before you're at the end. So hope that you hit some hops or hope that you don't get trolled by too many comments. You can also consider throwing a bile if you have it here, if it comes over on you or a pipe bomb. On the finale, you'll want to down the bot and get its health to roughly one third. And then you'll want to grab a sniper. So that was a. I, I got the bot very low. It's still fine, right? But ideally, you use adrenaline and then throw the bile so the comments don't annoy you. I just forgot to use my adrenaline here. But obviously, once again, we have water here, so you want to use it. That's literally what it's there for. Rain. And then you start the finale. If you killed the bot, it will respawn in the porter potty to the left, next to the burger tank, and you'll have to kill it again. And then we just get into this god spot here. You just have to carefully drop onto the small ledge in the water. You'll need to practice it a few times, but it's not as bad as it might seem. So what if you actually do kill your bot? Still want to start the finale just like you would otherwise. So... If you have an adrenaline, might as well use it for a pipe bomb or a bile to make it a little safer to get here. And then once you know that you're safe, vote to expert, start the finale, and you can see Alice is already freeing himself. We kill him, we go back to easy, obviously, and then we jump on this table, which is another god spot. We usually don't go for this and go for the water spot because it's safer, but if you do have to kill the bot, running to the water spot would take a lot of time, in which a lot of commons would have to you so this is just as a backup you can still run to the water spot it'll just be slower overall there should be a time save here because i know that i went so you want to get the bot to as low health as possible so it bleeds out right after the finale starts so it doesn't attract too many commons which will lead to them despawning slower but also as i said if you kill it it will respawn which is also going to lose you time so you just want to try to hit that sweet spot where your bot basically bleeds out right after you start the finale as you get to the god spot. Then you can use the medkit here as you see. I don't actually intend to heal myself. I just use the third person camera so I can look around. And then I see, okay, there's a common here, a special coming at me there. And then I just kill them. I want to kill the commons to speed up the finale a little bit. And the specials, as I said, 
if you're in a god spot, they can still path to you. So you want to get rid of them because they might actually kill you. There's a chance they'll just walk over you, fall into the water and die. But you might also get grabbed and lose a bunch of time. Yeah, I just... Long story. But other than occasionally killing a special or a common, there's nothing really that happens here. You just wait. Unless you get really, really, really unlucky and you get a tank that can path to you. In which case you can either take the gamble and hope that it'll walk over you and fall in the water and die. But if you fail the gamble, the tank will just punch you off and you'll get sent flying and obviously die. Alternatively, you can get out of this god spot and then just shoot the tank down. I'm still gonna pretend like I don't. Because reasons. There we have the next tank music, and then we wait for the boat to arrive. There was literally one common here and then one spitter. That's that's all the action I got, that's oh, insane. Driver, now we just need to not get troll tank at the end, and then, and then we're good. Well, now we hear that the boat is arriving. Um, we want to stay here for as long as possible because otherwise the infects will path to us. If you stay in the spot and the boat arrives, you'll kind of get squished. You'll get pushed up eventually, but you can't move. So if a, if a special jumps you, then you're screwed. You'll have to time your vote, which is a little difficult. You'll, you'll need to get a feeling for when the boat will fully stop and when you have to do the vote. Which is why a lot of people also just do this campaign last. So you don't have to mess with the voting. But if you don't do it last, I highly recommend you practice voting it a little bit. On to the final campaign, Dead Center. Once again, grab pistol, shoot down the bot. If you're low on ammo on the pistol, you want to grab a melee and then grab two pistols again. I got un unlucky here because Alice just decided to jump on the table. But you want to get the bots either very, very low or dead. Yeah, for that and then if you get a, if you can get a bio here, you definitely want that. You can walk off this balcony, strafe onto the lower balcony here. Check the table that I just jumped over. That could be bile or adrenaline. As an alternative, you can just head down straight Zombies. this corridor. Holy shit. Destroy the window, drop there down, and then go back in the window, the floor below. You'll be right next to the elevator. Do note though that if there's something useful on this table, you would have to go out of your way. So, while technically this is slightly faster, you generally want to go for the balcony. And then, you want to jump out of the elevator. And as you Jesus. jump out of the elevator, you press the button. This only works if all the bots are down. Uh, not Sorry, not down, but dead. And then you check the table back there. I got lucky. I have my bile and adrenaline. And you wait for the elevator to ride down. If you play on low settings, once these spools fully load in, as you see there, that's my visual cue that I need to walk off. I'll take a little bit of fall damage, but that's totally fine, as long as we're over 40 health. Actually, a little more because we are running through fire and taking some damage. You can check this, the table here on the right and the table here on the left for more bile and adrenaline if you don't have it already. So fast. Those are definitely going to come in very handy. And ideally, if uh, because you took the fall damage, you want to heal as you get into the safe room. I simply forgot about that. Interesting. Fifty-five. Streets is a pretty long level, so you don't need to deal as much damage on your bot or bots, depending on how many you have with you. So I, I just went over bot there. Like just downing him would have probably been enough. That's what she said. But it depends on how fast you are. You'll just get a feeling at some point. You know, better safe than sorry. You can just do some extra damage. Otherwise, you'll have to wait in the end. Safe room. You can hit some slow pops here. I failed most of them. But if you just hit a B-hop on the slope, you'll get a good bunch of speed. There's always a fire axe on this wall. Remember, we want a sharp melee in case there's a smoker. And also just generally having a melee in case you get swamped is nice. Got an unfortunate tank here that I kind of fumbled with because I didn't want it to punch the car into me so I couldn't just move. So I just decided to let it hit me again because the car would be instant down and back to the safe room. I got super lucky because I just got another adrenaline here. If you fail to grab the fire axe, 
there's always a melee up here. It can be sharp, in this case it's a cricket bat, but you'll always have a melee at least. And then if you still don't have your desired throwables and adrenaline, you can keep your eyes peeled here. You can get a shotgun on this table, an auto shotgun. You can also just not get one. Not too bad, because you can get the weapon of your choice from the weapon shop in a moment anyways. There's some more adrenaline spawns here along the way. Just keep your eyes open on the ground. You'll learn them eventually. It ran? Where did it run? I don't know. It, it, it just ran. What? Are you here? Speaking of running, hi. Uh, it has no correlation to running, but hi. And then for the gun store, the first thing you want to do is interact with the button because you have to wait for the door to open. Then you can take your time, get a shotgun, get laser sights, kill stuff. There might be adrenaline next to the laser sights on the crates. Just keep an eye out for that if you don't have it already. For the gun shop, it depends on which throwable you have. If you have a bile, you just want to throw it over the shop here, which will just cause the comments to not walk to you. And then there's an adrenaline, because I got really lucky. If you get that adrenaline, I, what I should have done is use the adrenaline before I pick up the cola, but it's also fine. And then take the adrenaline and get the cola off the store. It's slightly different if you have a Molotov, you'll want to do this. If you don't have a file, what you can do instead with a Molotov is open the store and then throw the Molotov at the entrance of the store before you, right before you turn the corner. Get your cola. Right, I got Whitaker's cola, let's go! Okay, one guy got by. But as you see, that's fine. Because there's the that was the Molotov. And for a pipe pump, you want to do this. Oh my God. If you just have a pipe pump, you basically want to do the same thing. Throw the pipe pump at the entrance of the store, right as you turn the corner. This will keep the comments busy for a little right. bit. I got cola. Let's go. But you, you're more likely to just be swarmed as you enter the store. As you see here, they're already coming back. But you can throw the cola out and then just start shooting them. You can also do a common jump from the base of the slam. Make sure you're not too close to the hatch on the left. And then you want to get the comments climbing up the ramp, and then do a common jump, and then just move left onto the hedge. And from here on out, you just continue to turn in the cola. Not like I asked for this. I had no reason to throw the cola there. That was just a mess up on my part. And then you want to jump on the railing here, get close enough to the door, and then you can actually deliver it from the railing, which will make it way less likely for comments to hit you because they have to first climb up on the railing. So in most cases you won't even get hit at all. I just got a little unlucky there. And then you just want to run to the safe room and finish streets. Get the kid, whatever. Hello, Zephy. I better not get trolled on the finale. That would be so sad. I almost, so for more, almost once again, we want to get rid of our bot. Like, the spots oh, yeah, are slow. And you can jump over this table and over the shelf. And then I if you get swamped by comments, you probably can't make that jump. So you either have to kill them or go around. Not a big time loss anyway. So don't feel too bad if you don't get it. And then here you can just... Look for stuff in the in the bottom pit or whatever you want to call that. Here to the left, where there's a sniper. You can also get a throwable. Speaking of, never you can also get stuff here on the tables. Guess. You just want to keep okay. an eye out if you don't already have I mean, adrenaline. Just, for me, up time then you can either like jump over this or you can go up the other escalator. It's mm. a little slower, but it's, habit, but it's a negligible way. difference. What? Be aware that you can get double. Uh, double specials here, which means you can get two of the same special on this map. So just because you killed a charger doesn't mean there's not going to be another one. You just have to be aware of that. Hello. And as soon as you shoot the glass, the panic event starts, so 
you want to get there as fast as possible. Because if you are slower, there's going to be a lot of comments in your way. I'm just confused. Why was he on the other side? <laughs> Damn it. No! You can get adrenaline and a boomer bar on the table. As you see, I got adrenaline, so I use mine and then grab it. Unfortunately, no boomer bio, but it's not too bad because whoa, whoa. Was that a jockey? because we'll have some extra what? chances to find Did one. Just fucking ride like a jockey to death? So I played safe happening? with the witch because I didn't want to lose this run. And then this okay. escalator also has pathway so RNG. If you get it pointing this way, you just go the normal way. But you can also have it facing the other way. And if you get that, here's what you do. You don't have to go all the way around. So you can go around here. Get into this glass. And then strafe back onto here. Do note though that there is an invisible wall so you can only walk up this far. So once you're on here. You want to run forward and then strafe out to the right and then back into the left. This is what it would look like. Okay, Atrium, final map. So you want to down your bot, but once again, leave it with as much health as possible. And then close the safe room. This is just no, 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 no. to distract the infected, this basically. And we're good to go. So it, if you overkill the bot, it doesn't mean that you need to just restart the level. It'll just make it potentially a little more difficult. And then as you ride down the elevator, you want to look around which gas cans you, you have. Okay, RNG check. And then you will have to determine which path you want to take. So I got the almost perfect RNG here, which means I don't have to go very far out of my way to get all of them. It's really good. You need eight because we started the game from the main menu option single player. If you choose play campaign, you'll have to do 13. At the thing that's only in the older version, so just be aware. If if you if it says you have to get 13, then you just started the campaign the wrong way. This is what would happen if you were to play campaign instead of single player from the main menu. Okay. Anybody got any ideas? And as you can see, we now have to collect 13 cans. I got one. Here we got Lucky and we got our Bile here. There's also a good chance we'll find Adrenaline. So if you don't have Bile and Adrenaline going into the finale, you don't have to feel too bad. There's a good chance you'll find it. And then just want to throw the cans down. What I'm doing here is I throw the can and then I immediately melee after that, which will just punch the can and send it a little further. You drop down and land on that flo flower plant pot, you'll take a little less damage. And, leave one behind. and then we just one juggle the gas cans over there. Uh, something, something political. You Agenda, want to have exactly eight, so... Funny. If you grab the one right as you go out of the elevator, you'll have one to spare, which is generally a good idea, because the gas can might get stuck somewhere as you throw it down. One, two, you get all of them right next to the filling place. And then you want to interact with this terminal to start the event and do not start pouring the cans immediately. You can throw a bile up there and then wait one or two seconds, use adrenaline and then start pouring. If you pour too early, the counter will go up, but it won't actually credit you for it. So it'll say you have eight out of eight, but the finale just won't end. And if you do everything right, the finale will end. And there you go. That's the end of the run. <laughs> so, if you're interested in speedrunning this game, first of all, I'd recommend you join the Left 4 Dead 2 speedrun Discord, which will of course be linked in the video description. They have a download link to the old version of the game, which you probably want to run because of the extra skips and tricks. And you can ask questions there and people will generally be very helpful. And you can just figure out alternative ways. Like if some trick I did here is too difficult, maybe somebody over there can provide you with an easier way. Generally for getting into this game, I would recommend just pick your favorite campaign, 
and just learn it. Just one campaign at a time. And then once, once you feel comfortable with it, try learning another campaign. And generally speaking, better safe than sorry. So you don't need to be super greedy to save three seconds if it means risking getting grabbed by a jockey. Because a death usually means you lose a minute or more. So just play it safe. And finally, have fun. Take breaks if you're not having fun anymore. This should be about fun. So if it's frustrating you, just take a break and come back with a fresh mind.